My number one piece of advice to couples when they're engaged is don't spend so much time planning for this one day that you fail to plan for the rest of your lives together. You invested in your marriage and I know God will bless this covenant. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> Perfect. It's Perfect. all good. I'm just really excited to kickstart our life together. Like this is the jump point. This is this is the starting line. That's when I was a little taken aback, and I, that was the first time I had felt butterflies in my life. My last promise is to never let you do the watermelon crawl alone. I'll be sure to make sure Nick knows how to do it. Take the last train to Coxville, now I must hang up with the phone. I can't hear you in this noisy railroad station on a long ride. Nick and I are dreamers and so when we think about the day and plan the day and just being able to take a moment and say we've arrived yeah it's gonna be something special I'm so thankful for you and the future that we're dreaming and building and this is day one those two things are important, and trust me, it will not be the big things that make your marriage thrive, like big fancy vacations or a nice new car. Those are nice, though. They are nice, but they're not gonna, it's not, that's not what's gonna make it thrive. <laughs>I think marriage with Kelly is going to be awesome, and the, chem the, the chemistry itself I'd really describe as just having a common goal. And I can't wait to turn to our friends and family at the end of the ceremony and just be like, we did it. We're here and it's awesome. <laughs>